It's a little tipsy, and it's gonna get worse. Steers. I guess Jax was the... That was Jax, that's okay. You're good. Keep going. Those Jacks are pretty tough. I think those aren't Jacks are way better. Maybe, I think you just cleared it. Oh, hold on, you might. What am I scratching? I think you're about to touch the frame. But I think you're okay. Yeah, you're good. Hold on, go slow. You're coming down on the driver's side. I think you're good. You're good, you're down. It's just floating over everything. You're about, you're about to hang off. Go real slow. Hopefully it doesn't Coming down. You're floating, coming down slow. And if we could stay in here, it might be fine, but I don't know what was up over here. You're hitting the jacks. I think we have to go that way because it gets, you have to get sharpened through the trees. I'll just go straight up right there. And I'll hug, I just need to hug the, the wall the whole way. Closer, or right there, where? Your passenger's coming down, but you're still on your driver. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Go, go passenger. You're gonna get close to your diff. Yeah, keep, yeah, go passenger. Is it pretty cool looking? <laughs> like, the articulation is insane. Oh, sorry. Yeah, keep it like that. Strict. For a driver, driver. Yeah, just keep it like that. Keep it, uh, yeah, that's fine. Check out that undulation. Yeah, you've got plenty of clearance. Go by the passenger, actually, because you're gonna get the step over here on the trailer. No, oh, pass, sorry, driver, driver. Oh. <laughs> Looking a little tipsy. Is that fine? Yeah, you're good. Perfectly good. Just go. You lock it down. Coming down. Slow. I can't tell if you're about to get the steps. So you gonna clear the steps? I think you're starting to go back up. Back up a little bit. Uh, dang it, hold on one second. So driver, and I think that's what you need to get the step, clear the step. Yeah. So keep going, driver. Go, 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 driver. Yeah, just for like two feet. As long as we don't hit any trees, we're good. We just should tip it this way at the same time. Okay, so you you want to go way over there? And swing. Probably gonna come off this big ledge. And that ledge is bigger than over there. 
Yeah, just keep it straight. <laughs> well, you can try. If you stay close enough that way the whole time, maybe the trailer will make it in over here. Where's the shot? Over there. I'd go a little more faster. Yeah, right there. It's just when you put the tire there. You're looking pretty bendy. Yes, you go on the way you're going. You're coming down on your back. That's straight. Yep. Yeah, you want to The hit, so like, I know. I think our trailer couldn't do this, right? Yeah, I mean, like, it's twisted. Like, from my mirror, I'm like leaning 30 degrees in this direction, and the trailer in a different direction. Is that it? <laughs> Send it! This low, you're flying so far. Okay, you're gonna come off soon, though. This is where it's gonna get tippy. That Keep it wheel, slow. It's loading, and by the time it almost hits the ground, the other one yeah. is now coming yeah. on. Like on. Tag team. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna come off then, though. Where it's gonna get tippy. Keep it slow. Well, what's crazy is now that wheel is off, right? That, yeah, that wheel's off. As long as the, the after the next one, it doesn't just drop. Other so much. Like almost a tandem axle on a teeny tiny trailer. Oh, oh dang! Oh, I didn't. Holy crap! Look at that. Up into the sunset. Trail. That was, it's crazy <laughs> how you know uh, half a mile turns into an hour. <laughs> I know when you're when you're off roading, you never know what's going to happen. Um, like just with the Jeep by itself, right? Yeah, like, even even by itself, it can take quite a while to do some obstacles and some things. But with the, and trailer. the trailer, doubles it or triples it. We, yeah, exactly. Anyways, it's it's late. I don't think we had lunch because we left early in the morning around eight or nine, and we've been on the 
essentially the road and the trail all day. Yeah. It's 8 p.m. We're starving. We need dinner. We just pulled up to a campsite. So we're going to get a fire going because it's freezing out here and get camp set up and then make some dinner. Yeah. Make yeah. some dinner. You got some dinner planned for us? Yeah, I do. Good. Let's make some dinner and then let's talk a little bit about today's experience. We did have some carnage. We had some things break. We had some, I don't want to say, I shouldn't say failures, but we definitely had some things break. And we should just talk a little bit about our experience with off-road campers. I think it'd be a good time to, I don't know, go over some stuff, but I think everybody needs food. Like we need food. <laughs> we need some energy. We need energy because <laughs> everybody's hungry. Famished is what I heard from the camera guys are almost famished. <laughs> hungry, hungry. I'm hungry. So let's get some food going. Yeah. Yes. Nice day today, right? Oh yeah. My favorite. I want to talk about the trail, talk something about a little bit about our off-road trailers, but I want to just like make the disclaimer that like what we do is pretty stupid sometimes, quite frankly. And I know that like we know that it's not very smart and I would never do this like personally by myself for the sake of just <laughs> like we went this jeep trail is a seven rated jeep trail right not a four not a five we've done fours before which was insane we didn't complete the whole trail it started getting too dark so we decided to turn around and some of the obstacles that we hit yeah um on this trail were worse than were the, worse than the anything previous on the four trail yeah so yeah. we did an adventure a long time ago to another place that we're not supposed to name because we got in trouble for filming there <laughs> and um that place had similar obstacles oh for sure and it took oh, us and, 12 and, hours and to go like worse too yeah like, the trail we were supposed to do <laughs> in five hours and we we're like 12 hours into it halfway, halfway done through, yeah. and so that's kind of how this trail seemed like it started playing out so we decided you know let's turn around the reality is we did some pretty gnarly obstacles. Oh, for sure. And I mean, we, we broke some things. Yeah, we, we broke a little bit of carnage. We did, we did. We broke and, some stuff. And and yeah, and the, and the point, you know, you're bringing is that the things that we're doing in this in these situations is, you know, above and beyond than anybody would do, especially like some of these trails we go on with these trailers. There's no reason to take a camper on this trail. Well, you can't even, nowhere to you, even camp. You can't, you're not allowed to camp on the trail. So it's like, it's like, it makes sense that you go out there with a razor or a Jeep and try to co conquer these obstacles because it's fun. And it says it takes four to six hours. In a trailer, it's gonna take 10 to 12. Our experience, it's, it's at least double whatever it's the Jeep double can do to it. Double to triple. Double to triple. So we were sitting here thinking, this is gonna take over 12 hours. Um, and we're only, already we're, we're a few hours into the trail. <laughs> it just didn't make sense to do it anymore. But like the, the, the reason why we do this is to show you like, listen, these trailers are extremely capable. They can go in places that no other trailer can. And, and quite frankly, you, you really don't want to go to these places. It's just silly, but we do it to test them out, to show them off, to show our manufacturers, hey, these are weak points um, that could be improved. It's, but like, what did we break today? Uh, let's see. There was a gas strut that fell off. Yeah, it just <laughs> fell off. That was kind of weird. That was, yeah, that was it, was for a, it was for a hinge. Yeah, so the, it wasn't like detrimental. Mount, but yeah, it was it's on not the mount. what holds the mount up. It just helps make it easier to drop the mount. Yeah, and not be as heavy or lift it back up. So, so Which that, could just be screwed back on, so. Not yeah, it was super, so it just probably rattled off. The other thing that we, we smashed some stairs on the, the 19, which and bring- I smashed the 14, they don't come all the way out anymore. Oh, you smashed the 14 I don't know stairs? when it happened. Oh, you did kind of smash it a little bit, but I told you to slow down and back up and they're not coming out? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of grime on them too, and they're electric, so maybe the grime. Okay, but... so so we smashed both of the stairs. Yes, we smashed both Okay, of the I didn't know that, that you smashed your stairs too. Dang it, I thought I did a good job spotting this time on your stairs. <laughs> I thought you were the one that screwed up the stairs. Apparently I messed up again. Yours come out. It might, it might actually do come out, so maybe you did a better, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Anyway, the reality is I feel like 99, 90, over 90% of all the places you'll ever go to, you will not smash those stairs because the trailers are so high and we're doing like just ridiculous obstacles, right? Oh yeah. So I don't, I don't think you'd smash the stairs in a normal. Places. Yeah, most places you wouldn't. You know, it could happen, but the nice thing is they're pretty robust. So even when we hit some of these things, they're still functional. Yeah, did we break anything else? Um, we smashed the stairs, both of them. Yep, we, we bent 
a, a drain pipe on the 19. Oh yeah, we did. Well, that's not. This, this is this is one of the very first. It's an article prototype, so that's not going to be there in the uh, it production. Won't be, which is production yeah, that's yet. that's part of our part of why we do this testing. So we go, hey, let's let's make this adjustment to the trailer so that this won't happen again. Yeah, and that's what's really cool. I feel like most of our manufacturers that we work with are very, they listen to us is because we actually go out and use them and test them, which actually, I think that's a really important thing. We were talking about this, about how, you know, the experience that you get with somebody that's actually using camping, testing the trailers, is just night and day different than what you do from somebody that's just building and selling it, right? And if it makes sense to do a certain thing, in the shop or or on the CAD design programs and things like that, because it fit or it, it did this, it did what you were expecting in that. And then when you go out and use it in real life, like, oh, wait a minute, that doesn't work now. Yeah. It's in the way or it just doesn't make sense to have that there and it'd be better over here that I'm reaching for it now and I can't get it. It's, you know? it's but, silly, it's silly. Like sometimes you'll see a camper come to market and it will be like, you have never slept in this camper or you have never used a camper like it's just it's shocking how un like they're not just user friendly right and that happens all the time with everything every products have stuff like that yeah, yeah for sure there's always like that trial and error but i feel like we try to get out and use them every single one of us i mean you see us we're gonna go camping in it but our camera guys they're camping in it too We've brought out our technicians over the years and, and we were actually just having a conversation how we need to get them out more frequently, especially for when things break, then they can help us repair them. <laughs> but also just because it's so important, we encourage everybody to, at the shop, be using the campers. Because yeah, every person at ROA somehow is involved with the trailer, whether it's showing it or fixing it or selling it, like every aspect of it, the more you use a trailer, the more that you're able to provide an awesome experience. That's what really what we want to do. And sometimes we fail, you know, but we're always trying and growing and improving, right? The saying that we have is like, we want people to walk away wowed, right? They want to, we want them to walk away and go, wow, that was a unique experience. Wow, that was really cool. Wow, that service was amazing. And if you're not doing things different, if you're not doing things in a unique way, it's really hard to get people to say, wow, wow, right? You know what I'm saying? And so we talk about that a lot. And, and I think it's really, really, really important. The only way you can wow people is by using the products, understanding the products, and then just always improving. We don't just improve our products, we improve our systems, our processes, how we deliver things, how we interact with people. It's, it's, a, it's a really full, it, it's a lot, there's a lot of moving pieces. But today was fun, right? Oh yeah. We come out, test the units, break the units. We did break things and no trucks were broken. I did actually hit my diff. I need to go check on that. <laughs> Jordan says I should go check on that. Yeah, Jordan did hit his diff one time and it split open and dumped his axle oil everywhere on the colorado when he picked his truck up day one first oh. time driving it well that's hilarious i actually think i remember that we were doing a we actually did fins and things in hell's revenge with trailers yeah that footage is also gone sorry people are missing so many cool epic know, uh, right? other adventures but this uev19 is pretty oh, it did great in some places it did better than the smaller one yeah oh for <laughs> sure uh, the smaller one is going to be more agile lower yeah. the top yeah, there's a spot like I went through a spot where the tree would have hit a tree would have hit this one, but, but it didn't hit me, so I could go an easier way. Yeah, um, and I could make certain turns easier and things like that. So yeah, it has agility, um, but for some of the, and, and that's how it is with even like Jeeps. You know, the the two door versus the four door versus a Gladiator, they all tackle obstacles in different ways, and some perform in better yeah. ways than other ways. For sure, so, and, 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 the, and the, the, the four wheels obviously create more stability because when one wheel's dropping, the other one's still holding it. And it's really good to tackle these long obstacles because you know you just have that long um, reach sometimes, but that the little one is gonna get you into tight force. You know, obviously you're gonna be able to tow it with a smaller vehicle like a Gladiator, you know? I wouldn't pull this one with the Gladiator. No, I wouldn't. Way too much. Nope, I would not. If you guys have any questions, if you have any comments, and if you want to see anything in the future, you know, feel free to make some comments below and we'd love to answer your questions. And thank you so much for watching this uh, little 
mini adventure. Yeah, right. And that's that's one of the special things too that we like to do is roamer adventures. So when you become a roamer, you can, you know, get bring your trailer out with us and sit around the fire and roast some hot dogs. Yeah, one of our very first roamer adventures was, was right here. here at this yes. campsite. So we decided to come down and conquer Moab with the uh, conquerors, the <laughs> UEV 14 and 19. And uh, next, hopefully next <coughs> adventure we do, we can do it with some roamers down here, right? Definitely. That's kind of our plan. So, well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and notification bell. Yeah. Ding, we'll, ding, ding, ding. We'll <laughs> see you later. Are you sick and tired of camping in a cave? If so, ROA has a solution for you. Here at ROA Off-Road, here in the 21st century, we offer some of the best off-road, off-grid campers that you can find. You don't need to sleep or camp in caves anymore. You don't need to light fires with sticks anymore. A trailer is a device, it's like a shelter, similar to a cave, only it can move from location to location, and it's much more comfortable than a cave. What do we think about this? <laughs> well, Terrifying. Got some mud. I guess the the trees would stop us from falling all the way down the hill. Yeah, I should unbuckle my seatbelt. It's like we're getting into the roll. I want to go slow to stay away from like sliding off the edge, but you need to go fast because you don't want to. I don't want to stop.